Okay, the great search brought to you by DigiKey. Thanks, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering and smarts to go to the DigiKey site and find all the things you need. This is especially helpful for part shortages when you have to do things like substitutions and more. But yes. this week, we were on a mission because we're making a bunch of keeps and... Well, people are asking... So I got a request of like... So, so someone on our team was like, I've seen these really gorgeous keyboard cables. Yeah. Which, again, I'm, I'm not um, endorsing or not endorsing spending $100 on a keyboard cable. I was just personally curious what, what is up with these. And they're like, oh, they use these cool aviation connectors. And I was like, well, what is, what is an aviation connector? Um, and so I did a little bit of research, and um, they often use Limo connectors or sometimes like the a, 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 YC8s or something. There's a couple of variations. Um, but Limo or uh, I remember Limo connectors. We used them in the media lab for yeah. our wearable computer stuff. We would we would have the Twiddler um, on a Limo connector, and there and for so if it got caught on something, you could easily detach it. Um, and so I thought I would first show off these cables, but also look. There's people who are you know if you're doing projects and you need a really really good push pull connector, like nothing really beats a Limo. They're amazing. Um, they are not. Inexpensive, but they're very high quality. Um, there's a reason they are often used, as you may yeah. guess, for aviation. I, I, I do understand why folks will um, spend time and effort and energy to make a beautiful keyboard. Because, they're beautiful. Because you, you might be using this thing 8 to 10 hours a day. Like, what other thing touches you 8 to 10 hours a day? Maybe your phone? Pillows. Pil I have a really nice pillow, by the way. Like, I got a really nice pillow, like, kind of somewhere in the middle of the pandemic, and it was... It's really helped. Yeah. It's, it's really not from the My Pillow Guide before it's not the be, before someone gets honest without that. Anyway. No, it's it's so I can understand why why folks okay. like these because it sits on your desk. It's probably in your living room or in, you know, the, the, the most intimate place in your home. There's this keyboard. And so I understand why people do this. And I, and I think one of the yeah, things... Yeah, this is a really beautiful well, one. I, I, I was just Googling I was like, oh my I, God, this is gorgeous. I think it's one like of the glowing things purple. as a community we can, like the Adafruit community is fine, but I think one of the things outside of the community is like, I think there's a tendency to like make fun of folks and say like, oh, you're spending all this money on this. So what? Like it's this thing that you use all day long. Like if, it, if it's something that brings you joy and you built it yourself, like that's fine. It's cool. Like, is that cool? Yeah. Anyways, so, I mean, so we beautiful. wanted to find out more about these. I'm curious about them. So, um, so, but you can you can get them pre-made, and I will say if 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 you're not an experienced solder or cable maker, it's a good idea to do it. This is just more like if you are personally interested in using it for other stuff, it's it's a similar connector to this. So if you look um, online, uh, so this is this is one that actually uses a proper Limo connector, and you'll you'll know them because they have these little red dots and these grooved. Um, connector so you see that the, the cable is coiled and then you can you can quick connect or you can change out the contact so these are usually four pin cables because they're um you're using usb so let's go to digikey and uh so let's look for you could actually just search for limo although i'll show you how to find the whole category um there's actually a lot they're they're often they're actually called circular connectors and you can look. So the only thing is that there's like a ton of stuff that Limo makes. Like they make, even though they're called Limo, it's 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 a little bit of like the Kleenex thing. That Limo is the name of the company that makes them, not the name of the connector itself. Even though the moment somebody said Limo, you know, free wire connector, I was like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about um, because they're really nice. Um, it's actually something more like this, right? Like that's what it looks like. Yeah, so, you can go to Limo.com. Uh, slash Ian, someone drop that in the chat. Dude, you see. can. Yeah, they're they're called medical connectors, which is like. They are. I mean, these yeah. are like these are amazing. These are, cool. these are like they're so enjoyable to use. Okay, but let's uh, let's look for active, and um, let's look for um, we we don't want we want free hanging, and we don't want panel mount. We want them the ones that. Panel mount would mean that one side is a panel mount and the other side push pulls out, which is which is fine. But we don't want that. We actually want um, free hanging, which means that they're in, in between two cables. So they are literally free hanging, which if you think about it, is like the kind of the most um, stressful thing a cable can do, right? Because it can get caught, it can get yanked, it can get twisted. There's now there's two sides that are that are very delicate. So that's why these cables, these cable connectors are, are oh, cool. Someone made 
custom cables for their brother for their birthday. Oh. Look at that. And so that's cool. Those are cool. I wonder yeah. how you coil the cables. Okay. Yeah. So this is, so let's go look for the, 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 the inline cables. Um, next up, uh, you know, cause there's still like 14,000. I mean, there's tons of these. I know that we kind of want these, right? So let, but let's show how to pare it down to get to them. So the next thing is, is how many positions we want. Now, there's a lot of options. 114. I, mean, I got to see what, what's 114 connectors? What, what is this unholy? Oh my God. <laughs> this is, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is nuts. Okay, I don't know what, what you would need this for, um, but if you did, I guess they Digikey's got it. You can you can use them. But we're not going to go for 113. We're going to go for four, and we're not going to do three plus one coax. We're going to do, I don't know what quad wax is, but let's just do these oh, four. Oh, to options. make the custom cables, you coil it with a post and then heat gun and a lot of patience. That makes sense. A lot of patience. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to make one of those. I think we should. We've got yeah. these. We've got these nice uh, woven cables. I wonder what will happen. Okay. So next up, um, let's. You know, you can get different colors, uh, but you can start looking at these. These. So these are like basically when people talk about limo, they have different series numbers, and the series numbers is how large the cable opening is. So actually, let's. Why don't we make one that'll fit this um, cable I have here? I didn't plan that, but. Just uh, grab my multimeter, my multimeter, my uh, Mitsutoyu calipers. So um, I'm going to measure the diameter of this woven cable that I have. Like maybe this cable, maybe this cable is a little a Lima Wi-Fi. So you measure the diameter, and it's you know 3.7 millimeters, 0.14, one four inches. So this is done in, yeah, it's kind of like an inch. And there's always like a little bit of a range. So, yeah, about 0.14. So let's look at the cable openings. So you can do this one, this one, this one. There's a couple of, uh, let's see, one, four. Okay, so these are the the point one four. So maybe we'll do this one one four six. Cause that's the that's the max. Yeah, and I want it. You know, you want it to not be. You you can't. You don't want. You definitely don't want something larger because it'll it'll be floppy inside. Okay, so let's apply. So now we've got only a hundred three hundred and thirty. Folks use these for lightsabers too. Yeah. Lightsaber okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't care too much about the shell finish. Although if you care, you know, go for it. Um, so fastening type, so push pull and detent lock. I don't know detent lock, but definitely threaded is what you think. You thread it on. Um, whereas push pull, which is what a lot of people like, you there's actually a little like sleeve on a spring and you pull it to detach it and then you can snap it back on. Again, very luxurious. So let's do push pull. Didn't really reduce the number any. Um, and then Next up, let's uh, let's just see what's in stock, because that, that's actually going to cut it down a lot. All right, so basically um, we've we've cut it down, and we can look to see like this oh, is nice. yeah these are I mean these are these are glorious. Let me see if they have a version that has a three D, have a three D model, but this one shows you all the cons. So when oh, you nice. get these, it's a kit, okay? And this is one side. You need two sides. Don't forget, both sides are required. I guess there's a request for a stemma. Yeah. Or it's so, perfect. We uh, can make Stemma QT to Lemo to make it waterproof. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yes, you could. So you can see that there's, this is the plastic bushing that holds the four contacts. Um, there's a shell. This is the spring load part. This is the back part. This is the, you can see that there's a little bit of a, like a groove. This is what grips the cable. So this is what you get for the cable grips. So in general, there's there's different families. So what I did research is there's different family series from 00B, which is the smallest family, the, literally the thinnest, to 0B, 0E, and up. I'll say most people use 0B. That's kind of the most common, but 00B is also available. It's just, they're just literally much thinner. Like these are very thin. Um, 
they might be a little tough for it to put together, so it's up to you. Can you go back to the keyboard uh, picture on your browser? Yeah. This so one? this is. So yeah. This is actually not a limo, though. I'll yeah, say, yeah, this yeah. Is, this I just is wanted to show. This is where they. End, this is what it looks like. Where it kind of ends up. Yeah. This is what. So this is actually this is actually a really good image, although it's it's a little bit dark. By the way, view image was re removed from my browser, and I'm I'm going to go <laughs> and I'm going to like murder some developer for removing view image. Like I have to install a plugin to use view yeah. image. And I, I really, I'm really upset about it. Depending on the browser I use, I have all these plugins to get functionality I used to have back. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. It's like little little patches. Yeah. That come. <laughs> so, anyways. Anyways. So this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, and you can. So this is you know you have you need both sides. Don't yeah, forget. Yeah, it's cool looking. It is. This is really cool looking. No, these are just like. This is neat. They're so cool looking, but like I just want to because I know people always get like like oh this is an audio file it. It's just because it's cool looking, which I actually really respect. They're not like, oh, this makes you type faster. They're just like, it's just really cool looking, <laughs> which yeah. it is. Um, so, yeah, but also the limo connectors are really great. Anytime you're doing, like, if you're doing a project that is, uh, that needs quick connects that are du really durable and dust proof, and I don't think these are waterproof. They do make versions that are. But really, connectors are one of the things that take down projects. I've not seen anything destroy a project faster than uh, bad connectors. So good connectors are good. Yeah. So the this is kind of the one that most people are using, the, the Zero B series FGG. Chances are, if, if, you're, if you see somebody making a keyboard with a Limo connector, they're going to be using this. Okay, how much are they each? They're, they're 22 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. So, but here's the other thing, and let me just say this. But if, they're really nice. If you're making really your own nice. keyboard, and this is a piece of art, and you're going to have it for years, that's pretty cheap, considering how long you may have it, and like you bring... It is It is a very... Yeah, anyways. It's a very nice connector. And then don't forget, you need the other side. Yeah. So, sure. sometimes they have the mating connector on the back here. At the bottom here, they show you the mating side. So, there's panel mount mate and other. So, you'll also need one of these... Just FYI, but you'll need both. They're really amazing, though I will say. So, um, so there you go. This is Limo connectors, great for keyboards, but also great for other projects, uh, including I guess medical and aeronautical engineering. Yeah, that's the great search. All right, Limo. <laughs>